Hello Bacon, today I'm getting ready to test some sewing hacks I saw online because those videos are taking off on YouTube and I want to know what the whole shebang is about. I am the laziest seamstress that exists in this world and I do love cutting corners, finding quicker ways to do certain things, especially if they involve some Gambiara type of connection. So then if this is going to make my life easier, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, you're using it to crease the fabric. Okay, so you can make the spaghetti strap easier. <gasps> oh my god, this video will be a debunking sewing hacks <laughs> instead of just trying them out and seeing if they will help me. What? I'm totally filming this in the same day, okay? Don't judge me. Don't judge me. The light is very spooky. But there isn't much I can do about it. We need to see what's going on on the machine. More light. <laughs> you know how hard it is to find a paper clip in this house? I don't use paper anymore. I don't print anything. Jesus Christ. I need uh, something. I need a strip of fabric. I have strips of fabric that are creasable. They're not too thick, not too thin. First of all, you put your beautiful thing here. How is this supposed to be easier than doing this or this? Not just a strip of fabric, it is a bias tape. I can't even make it work. I, I'm trying my- I'm trying the hard- the hardest I can. I can't even make this work. This is ridiculous. Zero out of five snacks. See, you can crease without using paper clips. Ooh, the perfect pointy point. So you open the thing, you glue the thing to the thing. In different positions, okay, this is already good. And now you put them through. Ooh. Okay, this one could be interesting. The, the second one is not doing anything. Why? Oh, now? Now it's doing something. Let's try this. So, one. I'm having a, oh, such a hard time just making this stay in place. All right. It needs to be here. So it will keep the fabric under the foot. I just want to see if they work. It's not my job to fix these. I was skeptical, but it does hold the strip in place. Kind of weird to assemble to get the gist of it. It's very finicky. I will give the three out of five snakes using the paper clip. Ooh. Not if I want to sew a bias tape between the things, both of them need to be looking at the same side. But otherwise, I'm not able to put the fabric between the things. Again, I am fixing hex and I don't want to. It is thinner here and then it moved way to the middle of the bias tape. And again, it's very finicky, so I'm giving this two out of five snips. I'm not a professional sewist by any means. I'm just a hobbyist who enjoys sewing a lot. If there is anyone who is a professional person, any of you, would you use any of these hacks? Or is this just Because I think it's bull. Why don't you put the fabric between, put the fabric between the thing and make it easier for you? to see what you're doing and also make the clip work for what's supposed to work for. Yeah, I was very annoyed that the fabric was on top of the elastic, so I will invert. <laughs> this was my mistake. <laughs> I think this one serves more as a guide. It's good to see where the things are when you're sewing, but it's not keeping either pressure on the elastic band or keeping the fabric from moving around. This has no purpose whatsoever. I give it one out of five snacks just because it kind of helps you see where to keep things. It doesn't help you to keep things where they're supposed to be kept. <sighs> kind of annoyed. Excuse me, what? Um, no, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't. Oh my God. Oh no. Do not ever do that to your machine. Can you know how much it costs? This is sacrilegious. It should be. Oh my God. This is a crime against sewing machines. Oh my, my heart hurts. My heart hurts. I said I was giving them the benefit of the doubt, but I don't wish to destroy my sewing machine. To show you how dangerous it can be. Look how this moves. This will not keep the yarn in place. And it starts moving up and down. Can, could catch here, could catch on this thing here. And there goes your needle bar and 300 bucks with it. At least this is how much my needle bar costs for the Rolls Royce. It's a lot of money for something so ridiculous. Minus 10 out of five snakes. Five minute crafts, who loves them? See, even this one is a better one than what? No, even five minute crafts. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. I don't think that will help much, but let's see. This person has no regard for their sewing machine whatsoever. And it doesn't even help you because you still need to. Same goes for this one. The only place I can put this is here where my thread guide is. As soon as it moves, it will hit the thing. 
And there goes your thread guide. Even if I do put it like this, where the thing is able to go up and down, the machine will vibrate so much that it will either fly on your face like it just did and give you a heart attack, or it will go back, hit the thing, explosions, kittens are dying, children are crying. You don't want that. Steer clear from these, please. <laughs> Draw. This is cool. And this one will work better with the elastic than that thing that she put on the needle bar. Do not put anything on the needle bar. You're gonna get hurt. You're gonna break the machine. Do not do it. I will find you. And I will take your machine away from you if you do that. It's illegal. Can't get over it. It's really cool. This one is really, really cool. Let's try this because I wonder if my yarn will be in the middle. I don't have a plastic straw. I just have paper straws that are the work of the devil i hate paper straws. through the straw through here no i'm so scared i will hold the straw yeah it, it didn't so <laughs> it didn't work at all it just caught the first bit and then it went straight through the end zero out of five snacks for this one as well <laughs> okay most of the mm -hmm. let's see let's see so let's see if i stick this here if it will work as a gauge oh let me cut this first fold a little bit will not will not work what if i fold and press this no <laughs> the needle is hitting the straw my straw is too wide or my presser foot is too small i am not sure which one i really don't know if i should try this oy, oy, oy. so first let's sew a line and see how I can make this line straight. Let's try by first having the right tension on the machine. Now to insert a beautiful gauge, I will keep the distance that I need it to be. It just flew off. I don't think this will make you save any time. I'm giving this zero out of five snakes. With a zipper foot. Ooh. Oh, I think this one will be really, really good. I'll try it out. I'm always doing my own piping and I hate it. Let's try this one. I am not going to lie. I'm gonna put this aligned with the needle hole. Because I want to touch the yarn as little as possible. Quite by a step. Because if it works, I'm, I'm going to riot. Ah! This is amazing! <laughs> it works so well! I've never made such a straight piping in my whole life! Okay, this is definitely 7 out of 5 snacks! Oh, okay. This might work better because it's actually holding these in place. I don't have a good place I can actually glue this to. I'm gonna put it here. I'm not a saint. Not that I never attached things to my machine before. Of course, never on moving parts. I don't understand the part of the moving parts. We need yarn. Can I use this? Oh, seems to be right. It does grab the yarn, like all of it is sewn to the fabric, kind of bunches a little bit. Because I think if I leave the yarn do its thing without holding it, then it will start behaving funny. This is kind of interesting, it looks really cool. I'm giving this 4 out of 5 snakes. Oh wait, wait, so you have... Oh, interesting, very interesting. Let's see if it works. This is the final straw. I have my skinny elastic. I don't have much space on the machine. Align it with the needle. This will work both as a guide for the fabric that's here and a holder for the elastic. Is it too far to the left? Not too far to the right. Oy, 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 oy. If I change the position of the guide, the thing to get closer to the fabric and the needle. I don't want to fix hex. I want to see if the one they showed me worked. <gasps> Ooh, beautiful. Like this, it worked. When it was on the front, I was not able to make it work. This is quite interesting. I'm gonna give this four out of five snakes. The beer cans. Oh, I hope she's not using her fabric shears for this. I can oh, hear that. Oh, Remove yeah. the char points. This is already good because I would definitely get cut in this. This <laughs> might work. This might actually work, but it will be very annoying. She's still folding the... <gasps> Look how twisted it's turning. Oh my God. No. No. I am gonna have to cut a can, right? Oh my god, Let, let's find a can! The thing that hurts the most about cans in Germany is that each of these cans costs 25 cents. <laughs> so I'm trying to cut a piece out of it in a way that I might be able to return it and get the money for it. <sighs> I don't need a huge piece. <laughs> I expected a little bit more sturdiness. Oh, I uh, hate the uh, sound. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Got the corners. Does this work? Fold in the middle. Fold it again. 
again. Oh, it already broke. It broke because I closed and opened it again. Oh no, I need another piece. Ooh. I don't think I'll get my money back for this can. So there's only one chance to use it. You were here and the old side of tape to put this on the machine. I will use normal masking tape and pray it works. Oh, oh. If you fold it before going into the thing, it works. I wouldn't consider this a hack for cutting corners when it comes to sewing a fabric snake like this. I give it two and a half from five snakes because it could work if you invest a little bit of time in it. It's not cutting corners again, but if you don't have a budget to buy a bias tape thingy for the machine, then I guess it will work. I had <laughs> tools to sew bias tape, but I want to see if this will help someone who doesn't. Let's try this. Because buying the appropriate things for your machine can be expensive, I understand. I understand. So biased uh, to fabric. Uh, so the flaps are on the inside. This piece of fabric is suffering today. Uh, <laughs> now it makes sense why they use double-sided tape. Because now I can't fixate it to the machine without double-sided tape. It escaped in the bottom. Which is not very good. And this one, also two and a half snakes out of five for the very same reason. I don't know, it's just too much trouble. Too much trouble. With a pinupe, what is with people putting things on their needle bars? Do not put things on S moving parts. <sighs> no, 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 no. It's not even attached properly. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm the saddest person in this whole world. These poor machines. Someone call the police. Please call the police. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm no, no, no. You dude, wash the cans. Oh my God, this is the biggest overkill I've ever seen. Why? Come on, who does that? <laughs> no, sorry. No, 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 no. Why? I don't understand. It's. Wait, is it supposed to keep the fabric in place while you're sewing that? Is it supposed to not make it well, all wobbly and weird? Is it supposed to be a wider presser foot? I don't understand. I don't know what that does. Of course, these are the only pins I have and it will not stay here. And even with a normal pin, I'm scared it might move around, hit the needle, break the needle bar. Ah, no, 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 no. Zero out of five snacks. Okay, what is this? Why is, why, why is this there? Oh, oh, okay. This one is very curious about. I have a shearing foot that does not work very well. And this looks amazing. Ooh. Let's try this one. Definitely try this one. Let's try to shear the fabric then. <laughs> I'm not gonna backstitch. I think it's not strong enough. Don't have that big of a gap. It really does gather the fabric, but I'm not sure better than my shearing foot. Let's try with the shearing foot. It's this majestic piece over here. It has a screw on the back, so you can actually force it to be slanted or work with the feed dog. And nothing will happen if there is no thread on the needle. There's absolutely no comparison. I'm gonna give this three out of five snakes. If you have a machine that has a bigger gap, it might work. And it does what it's supposed to do. But I'm deducting points because it didn't work for me. I'm very scared of breaking the machine if the pin decides to explode somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna try this one because I have problems with a smaller machine. Welcome to my small machine. The pen, remove the insides and just stick it here and hope this will then pull this. So dirty. Ooh, it works. Piece of fabric. La, 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 la. Perfect. I love it. This is a really cool hack. <laughs> I'm so totally using this. 10 out of 5 snacks. Such a simple thing. Why haven't I thought of this first? Oh, hi. Welcome to my mustache. Have you sent me any pom-poms yet? We have the big community project of the 100,000 pom-pom dress. And also we are trying to reach 100,000 bacons. For both of these huge milestones, I need your help. I don't think I'll be able to make 100,000 pom-poms by myself. And if you want to be a part of this project, send me your pom-poms to my P.O. box. The link 
in the description. The palms can be in any color or yarn. They just need to be two and a half centimeters in diameter or one inch for them imperial bacons. And also don't forget the beautiful YouTube triad of like, comment, subscribe so we can reach more bacons. 100,000 of them. We have until June of next year to achieve this because I'm going to London and your pom poms are coming with me. Insane, right? Oh, this is to put tension on. Yeah, this one could also work really well. Now, a little bit of overkill again. I actually think this could work pretty, pretty well. Can't make this pinch the elastic better. Ah, damn you, five minute crafts. Show me the right way to do things so that I don't have to be breaking my head trying to make your freaking hex work. If they don't help you, they are not hex. This makes my life more complicated. Fake <laughs> schnitzer. But first, thanks to our patrons for making this video possible because I am almost sure this one will be demonetized. People get angry when you're talking about their things. Now I have more tension, not enough, tighter. Now it's not, now it's tension. Let's see which one of my victims will be the first one to be very offended by my poison. I see no other way than putting the fabric on top of the elastic. I think we established I don't like that. Why? Walk, poha. There's too much tension on the elastic. <laughs> And how can I use this with the elastic on the upper part? I almost didn't catch the elastic. I was not able to see what I was doing. I will put this now here. Uh, no, it's not working. I'm gonna keep this. I don't know how to score this based on my incompetence. It's just my incompetence. Based on my experience, I give it a zero out of five snakes. And based on the potential of the thing and my incompetence, I'll give it a three. Maybe just figure something out to make it work. What do you say? What do you say? Now I'm gonna be like that TikTok guy. Do I need to say more? Five dangerous tips and tricks I wish I learned a long time ago. If they're dangerous, then why? Oh no, it's shorter. What to do? What to do? Oh, come on, man. This cannot be. They totally clickbaited me. What the f***? I wanted to see the one with the thing. Oh, she's going with the razor too? What exactly? Distressing the jeans. What? Huh? What was that for? Just destroying the jeans. <laughs> Did you see it? The strategically placed thumb on the thing because they pinched the fabric wrong. <laughs> Ripping fabric is fine, but not like that. Always put tension on both sides, please. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, check the one I chose specially for you because I think you're going to like it. Ta-ta!